welcome to my channel. I am Andrea and this is Beyond the Pink Door. So one of the first things I want to do is to welcome all my new subscribers. Thank you. Uh, it's lovely to have you here. So it's all thanks to Lisa from And So On. Uh, I'll, put a, I'll put a link up here. Lisa did a vlog during the week showing 12 sewing vlogs that she has begun to follow. And it was really super. She featured me. I was chuffed to bits. And then I saw another couple of vlogs that I haven't been following. So, And today's video is about my progress this week. So I'm staying home and sewing like a lot of people. I'm watching YouTube, sewing, and I'm working on my capsule wardrobe. So I'm wearing my little top today with my trousers that I made. So I'm feeling quite jumpsuity today and I just love these colours. So I've been working on my like mint green uh, aqua dusky pink and I've set up four mannequins here with what I've done so far so I'm going to talk you through. I spoke about these on Sunday in my vlog about what plans I had and what new fabrics I had and what I was going to do with them. So I'm going to just show you what I've done. I've made two tops. I'm looking at them here. I have two tops, two cardigans. Actually I have three tops because I made the coral top to go with the trousers. So the first thing I'll do is I'll stand up and show you this outfit. Now, so this is a top I made last summer. This is a free sewing pattern from the Love Sewing magazine. I didn't, it's got two little layers on the sleeves. It's made from this lovely flowy viscose and I've got Nina Lee Portobello trousers to go with it. So I'll stand back and show you. Yeah, I made these trousers last summer. I haven't worn them a great deal. They sit up on the waist, which is something I'm not really used to because most of my clothes sit below my waist. Um, but then again, I think my waist has changed its position. <laughs> so they're actually really comfy and they look quite like a full jumpsuit when I have this top in tucked into them. I took out the pockets because I just found they were too bulky around my, my hips, but I really like them. And after putting them on today, I think Maybe there might be some more made, definitely out of viscose. They fall really lovely. They sit really nicely. They've got just a few little little pleats here. so They don't actually feel too bulky. And yeah, they're actually really nice. I'm going to put on the coral twisty top that I made to go with them to see what you think of it. So this is the um, coral jersey that I got from Quilchar and Stitch is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, there's a lovely stretch to it and it looks very plain so far, but it's got a little twist. And here it is. So it's got like a knotted thingy in it. And when I initially made this, it was, it was just far too long. It was uh, about three inches too long. Now I'd never made this pattern before so I didn't have any idea what the length was. Now I should really have known by looking at the length of the back but the front pattern is actually quite odd looking. It was a really 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 simple top to make. I'm definitely going to make another one. I might do a sew along with it because it's really quirky. It looks very complicated. It's absolutely not. And now that I feel I've got the length of it right I'm definitely going to make another one. I am finding though that it's got a little gathery bit here, which I just think looks completely daft, particularly <laughs> from this angle. Now that just to me looks ridiculous. Uh, if I pull it down really straight, it's not there, but uh, yeah, I'm just not happy with that. I what I'm going to do is if I shove like a little bit of fabric down there and I put a little pin in there and I just sew out that like that little triangle with a little bit of fussing that pretty much sorts it out and I think that's really nice with these trousers yeah I really like this so I made this on Sunday I got over my overwhelming anxiety of how am I going to make all this stuff? So 
put on the kettle. I made my pyjamas. They're actually so nice. And then I did a little cutting out and I made, well, I made this top to the point where I realised it was too long and I had to think about it because if I went at it for too much longer, I was just going to leave it into the kind of, oh, I'll come back that, to that in another month pile. So I left it and I settled down for the evening to my iPad and I watched a bit of YouTube, watched a bit of Netflix. Oh, I've started watching Next in Fashion. So that's what's keeping me company as well while I'm sewing. So I'll show you the other ones that I've made. So here we are. Here's the girls all lined up. So these are the two cardigans I've made. We have the Charlotte cardigan from Jali and the Pattern Scout Lulu cardigan. I made the Lulu cardigan before. There's two options in it. One has this like little flounce which I really like and the other version has a band on the bottom. Now I made the one with the band before but I really fancied having the little flounce on this one. They've both got little cuffs and this one just has the like a little jackety collar. I really like the shape of this one. If I was to choose between the two I'd like the fit of this one better. It's got the little side panels at the front and at the back and it just seems to it just fits a bit nicer. It's got like a little yoke piece here on the shoulder and I quite enjoy doing all the top stitching because I had a really nice coloured thread. Didn't enjoy gathering. I just do not like gathering. I used the Avid Seamstress Day Dress um, option of gathering, so I used an elastic. I am going to do a little video on how that um, little gathering works. Don't have a gathering foot and I think it's something I'm going to have to invest in. This fabric is absolutely divine. It's fluffy on the inside. It's got a lovely stretch to it. Now I did wonder yesterday when I was finishing it if I cut it out the wrong way. I folded the fabric selvage to selvage and I cut the pieces running along the selvage. I found yesterday when I tried it on that the sleeves were a little bit, I thought they were a little bit tight. Um, now they're tight on both. There's stretch both ways of it. So there is stretch there's actually more stretch this way so I thought that's definitely something I have to think about in future so maybe if the stretch if I had more stretch this way it would make the sleeves a little bit more comfortable this is the Charlotte Charlotte cardigan from Jolly it's plain uh, no nonsense no fitting um, again I found the sleeves slightly tight and again, yeah, I think maybe if I had cut it with the stretch going this way, it would have been a better option. But anyway, you live and learn. That's the way I look at it. And I love the colour of it. It's got the little band on the bottom. Um, I'm going to try this out with a few outfits and see how I feel about it. Again, little snaps to go down the front. And then I have my two tops. Now, this top here is the same top as the one I wore at the beginning of the video and it just goes to show what a different result you get from using a different type of fabric. Now my blue one, the frills fall lovely and flat. Um, in fact I'm going to put this on, it's going to look ridiculous with the trousers but I'm going to put it on. Oh and now, I don't know if you can see that, now the farmer has decided to come into the field, so I'll have to hop into the other room to get changed. So, here I am in this one. This is the one I had on earlier, and I'm concerned about the sleeves, basically. This is a viscose. This is a cotton lawn. I feel like a flamenco dancer. Uh, I'm not completely opposed to them in the summer, but yeah, I think they're quite big. I don't know. I'm open to opinions. I left them. I was going to take them out on Sunday and convert them into like a little sleeve, but I actually really like the idea, but I just think it's too much. Um, I feel, yeah, I could, I could take off. They're 
they're massive like the fabric is absolutely beautiful i love the tones of colors in it i wasn't sure if they did anything for me but no i really i really like it and this is one of those this is one of the tops in my little module so i think this is going to be absolutely lovely with a pair of maybe black jeans or the black camden skirt that i'm going to make um now that i've put on the nina lee portobello trousers maybe i might get some nice black viscose to make a little floaty pair these are actually really so comfy so, yeah. um, sometimes when i'm kind of in between minds thinking about what to do i leave the top on my mannequin in my sewing room and i go and revisit it obviously my little cardigan won't fit over it the sleeves are far too massive <laughs> And I am sorry that I don't have enough of this fabric to make like a little sleeveless top. Now that was one of the other options I was thinking of was just take sleeves off altogether and then have a lovely little top that goes underneath the cardigan. But yeah, I like the idea of these little fluted sleeves, but I wish they looked more like that. So I was thinking no matter how long you're sewing, there's always something that'll come up and surprise you. And then I have the Nina Lee Park Lane top, this guy. Now I really like this. I've made this once before. I've made it in a cotton lawn. This is a cotton lawn as well. And it's got nice body to it. This is the one I made before. This is in a lovely cotton lawn as well. I've worn this loads. It's got the, like, the little gathers here on the cuff. It's got the little gathers on the top yeah on, uh, I think it was Monday actually I was making some of these Monday I just had like a sleeve a bad sleeve day basically I felt the two cardigan sleeves were too tight um, these were too big and then I had forgotten that I needed to cut this little band an inch wider um, to accommodate my arms um, and yeah, nothing, nothing was going right. So again, Monday evening, I left it because again, this would have been horsed onto a pile and maybe never revisited because it has actually been cut out for ages. I just wasn't that actually, I just wasn't crazy about the color of it. I thought it looked different when I saw it online and when it came, I just thought it was just a little bit too insipid, but there is a lovely little bluey color in it and it does go really nicely under the cardigan so i think just that little bluey color would just lift it and i've undecided what i'm going to actually wear with it now but obviously i took about three inches off the sleeves of the two cardigans um because they were just far too long but yeah i'm really really pleased so far um what am i next to make oh yes i'm making the avid seamstress day dress out of this fabric and actually, the more I look at this now, the more I like it. But I do need to sort of just zhuzh it up a little bit. I've been making these kind of pale muted colours for the last couple of days. And I think today I just have to move on to something a little bit more colourful. So I have quite a few of quite a few of my little projects made and lots more to make yet. Um, skirts, I think, are the next thing because I have the tops. I have the cardigans I need to get the skirts made so I'm going to cut out the green and pink cord skirt today basically two Nina Lee's uh, the two Camden skirts and I'm going to cut out the black one as well because I think that's going to really start bringing this all together so again thank you for watching if you watch to the end I appreciate and um, yeah I'll see you all again soon with some more makes so let me know in the comments what you think about this oh. thank you until the next time bye bye